Hi everyone, I'm back. So the little tray has completely dried on both sides. I gave it a good touch up of paint. And you can do it two ways. You can do like a, a milk wash, which is what they did um, back in the turn of the century, where you could still see some of the natural wood underneath it. I did not want to do a milk wash. I wanted to get a good solid color on my project. So then, after you do that, if you want to have the shabby chic look like this, where it looks like the wood is coming through because the paint started to peel over the time, you take a razor, a single edge razor, you just scrape, and you can get some of the wood to come back through over your paint. And you can show as much as, as you want. So that's that. Now, also, you can see I started to uh, go through some pearls, some eyelet ribbon, and some lace single edge ribbon. These are single edge, which means that it doesn't have the scallop on both sides. That's a single edge. This is also a single edge ribbon. I also made some flowers. So these are shabby chic flowers. And here's another one. And here's one with the blues. The only thing about this one is it has pinks. And there's no pink in this project. So this one is definitely an out one. But this one does look nice, actually, if it was a different color assortment. So I'm still choosing. And when I pick my selections, hopefully you would have already picked yours. And we can begin to... Uh, uh, start applying some of our embellishments. So what you want to do, like I said, is um, scrape it with the razor or you can use a Brillo pad or you can use a piece of sandpaper. The sandpaper might go a little bit too deep so you may not want to use the sandpaper. You might wind up with um, a whole different color wood on different sides. So I, I wouldn't use that one for this particular project because we're trying to be consistent with that dark brown. I will be back and I hope to see you soon.